Hey Tubies, it's Psyche Bob. It's Christmas Eve and it's also Vlog Thursday. It's like I've been doing readings all morning. Now it's time for some lunch. I'm out here in the middle of a rainstorm. No white Christmas for us this year. It's gonna be a silver Christmas with rain, silver raindrops. Anyways, uh-oh, I forgot about this. Our sidewalk here is flooded out again. Uh, I hate this. I don't know why they can't build these sidewalks. It's like four inches deep. Like it's over your ankle if you walk in it. So we have to go up on the hill. I hope we don't slide. <laughs> uh, what's that saying? Into every life, some rain must fall. That's right. <laughs> well, I'm glad you guys are here. And thought we'd just hang out today on Vlog Thursday. Say thank you to all of you who came out to last night's video. If you didn't see that, we had a really cool time. We did a Wiccan night moonlight walk. It was called it. What was the name of the video? Moonlight walk with Lord Icia. And uh, I'm walking right here by the trees that I showed you last night. Now I was over across the street, so they're looking from the other side. But there are here are the trees right here that we show in that video. Now you can see them in the day. And interestingly, you know, with the gray sky, you get another perspective. So we saw them under the moonlight against the velvety, inky black sky. Now we're seeing them against the monochrome gray. So there you go, you know. We can look and see if we see any runes or mystical symbols. Look at that tree. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. So there y'all go. <laughs> oh, this big oak is majestic. Look at this. Wonderful, reaching up to the sky. You know, I'm one of these people, I don't care if it rains, snows, sleets, or shines. It's like Bob, when he wants to go somewhere, I go out. I never let weather stop me. I know people who see one raindrop just cancel their whole day. Not my life. You know when you walk in the rain, you get a connection to the elemental energy of water and air. Right now the wind is blowing, the water's splashing. I like it. Oh guys, here we are at the footbridge and we're crossing it. And the rain is kind of gentle, but steady, but it makes kind of an impressionist look. Like this looks kind of like a Monet painting today. Can you see how the sky and the reflection is kind of a silvery misty look kind of impressionist really beautiful i love it and our other side going up that way looks i swear it reminds me of a claude monet painting or a Seurat pa painting it feels very monet to me if you don't know who claude monet is you need to look him up he was a uh, an impressionist artist in the eight, late 1800s, early 1900s. And I've seen a lot of his paintings in person. They're just beautiful. This really feels Monet. What do you guys think? Is that a Monet shot or what? <laughs> it's good to get out and walk. You know, it's Christmas Eve, by the way. Happy Christmas to all of you for who are celebrating it. I celebrate Yule and Christmas. They all kind of blend together in my world. Our family this year is not doing any get-together because everybody's away and it's going to be hard to travel. So we're all just staying home and having quiet Christmases, which honestly I'm really glad about because I don't feel like being part of a big crowd this year. So I'm going to go and catch me some lunch before the, the shops close and have a Christmas Eve lunch. Come on along. You can see the water as we walk along the creek on a misty, rainy day. It's really lovely. I still think it looks like a Claude Monet painting. <laughs> I really do. As I said, walking gets you in touch with the elemental energies of earth, air, fire, water, and spirit. Can't forget spirit. And here we are at the rapids of the new Ganges River. Look at the water flowing. Pretty cool, huh? That's power. Great place to come and do 
spells invoking water power. Just my thought. And you know, look up here on the hill. Here's the great grandmother oak tea. It's three over 300 years old, preserved by the Park Service. Now we're about to go into 2021, so I gotta go check its age. But it's now another year past 300 as we head into the new year of 2021. Pretty awesome. I love that tree. It's sacred to me. You know, I think it's so important that when you get out and walk that you attune to the energy of the place. Every place in the world has sacred places, sacred trees, sacred rocks, sacred rivers. But you got to go out and walk it to feel it, to know and to learn it. Do you guys have any place that you walk that you've discovered sacred spots and places of mystery? I'd love to hear about it. And look to because here we are at the mystic fay tree. This is where I tell you that the fairies live. And uh, remember that moss I told you on the tree? Green equals life. I have a t-shirt at my merchandise store if you're interested in that. I have a shirt that says green equals life. And that's what it's about, that wherever we see greenery, there's hope because it means life is there. You know, it's funny, I'm looking in the moss, I only see the face of the green man coming out. Do you guys see that? Oh, interesting. Well, we got to get on and get some food. <laughs> Before everything closes, I forgot it is Christmas Eve, everything's closed at early. And to me is look where we're going for Christmas Eve dinner. Samurai Hibachi and Sushi Bar. There's a sign we love, open cocktails, sushi and hibachi. I love it. Well, let's go on in and get some food. <laughs> Here I am at Samurai Hibachi. I got my menu. Look at this, oh, the Samurai Soldier. Oh. I don't know, I think that says Samurai right there. And I gotta figure out what I'm gonna eat. Oh, two bees, you know it's Christmas Eve. And I decided to indulge and splurge. And look what Psyche Bob ordered. <gasps> A vodka martini. Ooh, it looks so good. I think it's gonna be smooth, so they even put a little lemon uh, rind in it. It's just mm. so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna try it out. Cheers. Ooh, that is smooth as silk. I love it. And you know, because it's Christmas, I have to bring out my good jewels. So check out my bling. I got a new pen that I'm wearing because you know I'm crazy about jeweled pens. They call this a snowflake pen. It does kind of look like a snowflake but actually if you look at it, it's a pentagram. It's five-pointed star. So I thought that's kind of cool because it can be a pentagram and a snowflake all at the same time. So that's my newest brooch. And I decided to wear a really cool pendant which I have to show you guys. I don't know if you can see this. But this is one of my emerald pieces with some sparkly diamonds. Well, I don't think they're real diamonds, but boy, they look real, don't they? <laughs> it's sparkling. So say goodbye, be, be styling. I've got that on. And we're just glitterazzi today. Oh, Chewies, look what just arrived. I ordered me a Philadelphia roll sushi. This is so delicious. It's salmon and cream cheese wrapped in rice and seaweed. It's got some... Um, ginger root that's fresh shaved ginger and the magical sauce wasabi sauce wasabi is very powerful if you put wasabi on a dart and shot it in something i think it's so powerful it killed them it's like poisonous but it's delicious <laughs> and of course think about i've got look at their festive red napkins here with their chopsticks it's not elegant look at that now who says say bob don't have no culture i can eat sushi and use chopsticks and we're gonna dig in and have some fun. Oh, and I love me some soy sauce with my sushi. Oh, look what just arrived. 
My miso soup. Oh, this is delicious. It's a wonderful fish broth soup. It's tasty. It's got tofu in it and seaweed. It's just delicious. <sighs> Between my martini and my luxurious food, I think the edge is coming off my day. And who says say goodbye but I have no sophistication? Look, I can eat with chopsticks. I've been eating with chopsticks since I was a kid. Mm -mm, I love it. <laughs> uh, how sophisticated I just dropped it. <laughs> well, what can I say? I'm not always good at it. Mm. Mm. Heaven. Ooh, I'm going to put the wasabi sauce on. Any of you have had wasabi sauce, you know a tiny bit goes a long way. It is so powerful. It makes jalapeno peppers look like a candy compared to it. It's so hot. But I love it. Certainly open up my sinuses. <laughs> the nectar of the gods. <laughs> I've been sitting here working on my miso soup and sushi and look what arrived my dinner I got yakisoba yakisoba is a chicken and noodle dish and it's served with seaweed and pickled ginger absolutely the best so I'm having a good time we're digging in and indulging Oops, it's a big noodle Oops. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder where you are. <laughs> oh, too, I said, I've only, I haven't even finished one drink. I don't know what they put in it, but it's already gone to say about his head. I'm feeling a little loopy, but I love it. <laughs> Just hang out with us. <laughs> Wow. Say goodbye, drink the whole thing. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Merry Christmas. Woo, say goodbye, it's feeling good. <laughs> I think I'm a little lit. <laughs> I usually don't drink, so when I do, ooh, it's really goes to my head. <laughs> <laughs> they just offered me a second martini, but I had to say no because I won't be able to walk home. <laughs> well, two bees. <laughs> that was a great lunch. Ooh, let's take a bop a little bit. Um, toasted. <laughs> It'll make for a fun walk home. I'll probably be swerving and swaying. Anyways, guys, listen, thanks for hanging out with me on Christmas. We'll be back here tomorrow. I'll have a special. Christmas Day message for all of you so make sure to tune in tomorrow I'll try not to time it to clash with the Queen's speech because Her Majesty the Queen is releasing a message tomorrow but either way I'll be here thank you guys for hanging out I love you make sure to hit that subscribe button give me thumbs up join my channel and we'll see you back here tomorrow blessed be